So at this point you should have your target hooked up through your SNE to your computer. If you don't have your target connected to your computer and powered up so that it's illuminated, stop and do that now. If you do have that, then great. Now we're going to install your USB. So in the box that you got your SUS Lane kit in, there was a thumb drive. Take your thumb drive and put it into the USB port on your computer. Okay, and this is your thumb drive. These are all the files that are installed on your thumb drive. So what we want is SUS Lane installer. So double click that. SUS Lane installer will open and we want to install. So select install, select yes, and we'll begin the process. And at this point it's just making sure you have enough space on your disk, um, enough system resources to run the program. And I'm going to let it run so you can see how long it takes. So it kind of varies, um, but it's usually almost a minute. So I'm not going to pause the recording or anything so you know and it's not taking too long or anything like that. So there it is. We're good to go. At this point, we hit Next. This is the default location. If you want to change it, you can. Most people leave it there. Select Next. Ready to install, so hit Install. So it's putting the files that it needs in. Just a pretty standard installation window. Okay, and that's all. So we finish. Installation successfully completed. We'll close that. Uh, these files, you can either leave them on the thumb drive or you can make them resident on your computer somewhere. Um, the documents are um, the user manual for the files, that, the programs that are in here. Um, I'm just going to close this. I do have a copy of this on my desktop. Sue Slane thumb drive. Doesn't matter if you keep it or not. Just keep the thumb drive if you don't keep the files resident. So the next thing you're going to do is come down to your search window. And in the search window, you're going to write type com. And when you type com, we're looking for SUSCOM Service Manager. So we'll select that. And what that does is it puts an icon down here in the tray. And that is the SUSCOM Service Manager program. What this does is it communicates between the computer and the SNE. So we're going to double click this icon in the tool tray. Okay. And we're going to select start service. We're going to look right here at this little red light. When it connects, it'll turn green. Okay. There it is green. The duration timer started so you know you're connected and the packets are transmitting so you see that it's communicating. And there's an option down here to close. We always leave it open. The next thing you're going to do is go find your SUS Lane icon on your desktop. It's this blue target. So we'll double click SUS Lane. Okay, so there it is. Now we are active. The first thing you want to look at when you open this program is to make sure that this light down here is green. If the COM service icon is green, this light will be green. If it's not green, go check your cabling back to your target. Make sure everything is connected and, and tight. Make sure your target's plugged in and illuminated. And then come back up here and select Reconnect Range. 
and that'll send another uh, signal down to the target to uh, connect it. Okay, so the way this works is we have our target here, and I'm uh, it's currently in demo mode, and I can tell that because of the there's the uh, crosshair reticle on the target. So what we'll do is, so let's come down here and do a 10 meter um, air rifle final. And when you change either of these options, select this green button to load the selection. Okay, it'll change your target if your target is is uh, different than um, I got 10 meter, 50 meter. See if it changes it. Okay, so it changed it from a rifle to a pistol target. So you, if you change either of these, you have to select the load selection button. Then you go here, and you press start, and you'll notice that the frame turns from yellow to green. Okay, that's another indicator that it's working right. Everything is good. Uh, again, I'm in demo mode here, so I'm gonna put a couple shots on target. And let's say, okay, my, uh, let's say my, my jacket isn't fitting right, so I'm going all over the place. I want to start over. So we stop our exercise, we clear it, and we can start over. I'm all nice and secure doing a bang up job. We're done with our exercise. We want to clear. Um, and uh, let me let me show you how to take it out of demo mode. So general settings. You just want to select activate the demo mode, deselect it. Um, I don't think that's the default to have it selected, but this one was. So now if you go in, now you're live. Even if I click on the target, nothing happens. So you're actually live to shoot at your real target. So stop and clear. So at this point, uh, you've been shooting all day and you're done. You can either leave it up. Uh, if you have a dedicated computer um, for Seuss Lane, you can just leave it active all the time or you can just close it right there. Go here and select stop service. So in your comm service, stop the service. And if for some reason this window, if you close the window or anything, just go back down to the icon, select it. It will stop the service. It'll stop communicating. The light turns red and we can go home. And that's all there is to it.